Hi everyone, welcome back to the Code Shop channel. In today's video, we're diving into the shop floor module in Odoo 18, an essential tool for managing manufacturing and work orders efficiently. With this module, we can track every stage of production in real time, ensuring a smooth and organized workflow. So let's jump into Odoo and see how it all comes together. The shop floor module isn't a standalone app. You can't install it on its own. Instead, it comes as part of the manufacturing module. So if you don't see it in your database, first check if the manufacturing app is installed. It's also important to note that shop floor is only available in Odo 16.4 and later versions, replacing the old tablet view functionality. If you're used to managing work orders with the tablet view, don't worry, shop floor provides an even better experience. Now let's explore how the Shuffler module is organized. At the top you'll see a list of work centers. Each work center has its own dedicated page displaying information cards for work orders assigned to that center. You can customize which work centers appear by clicking the plus button, selecting or deselecting them in the pop-up window, then clicking confirm. By default we see manufacturing orders and work orders that are either ready to start or in progress. Orders are considered ready to start once they've been confirmed and all required components are available. If you want to see every order regardless of status, simply remove these filters. If you need to focus on a specific MO or work order, just type its reference number into the search bar at the top. Each manufacturing order in the shop floor module is displayed as an information card, giving you quick access to essential details and actions. Let's take a closer look at what's included. At the top of the card, you'll find MO number, the product being manufactured, and the number of units. MO status, this updates automatically. Confirmed the MO is ready to begin. In progress, work has started. And to close means all work orders are completed. And the manufacturing order is ready to be finalized. Below the header, you'll find the current work order along with the button that opens the work center page where it's being processed. Next, you'll see the register production line, which is used to record how many units have been produced. After clicking close production, an undo button appears briefly, allowing you to cancel the closure if needed. Once the MO is fully closed, it disappears from the dashboard. Now at the right side, we have the gear icon. When we click on it, a pop-up window appears with several useful actions. If a product or its component is damaged or unusable for any reason, we can remove it from the production process. If an additional work order is required that wasn't originally planned, we can include it here. If you realize we need an extra component that wasn't listed in the bill of materials, we can add it directly. The next option allows us to jump straight into the full manufacturing order inside the manufacturing app for more detailed management. Now let's dive into the assembly one work center and check out the work order card. It looks a lot like the MO card, but there are a few differences. The first thing to notice is that clicking on the header starts a timer right here. This timer tracks how long it takes to complete the work order. And later on, we'll be able to review this data in order, along with the total cost of production. In the main body of the card, we see each step required to complete the work order. To process them, we can click on the step, follow the instructions in the pop up window, validate it, and move on to the next one. We will cover it in more details in our How to Process a Manufacturing Order video. For now, let's move on. After completing each step, if this work order is the last one in the manufacturing order, a close production button appears to finalize both. If a quality check is required, it must be done first. If more work orders remain, we'll see mark as done button instead. Clicking it completes the current work order, and the next one automatically appears in its assigned work center. Clicking the gear icon opens a pop-up with even more additional actions which we've seen in MO. Move to work center lets us transfer the work order to a different work center if the assigned one isn't available. 
Next, we can recommend updates to the work instructions. If something needs clarification, create quality alert, help us notify the quality control team about any production issues and block disables the work center if it can be used for any reason. On the left hand side, we have the operator panel. This shows us all the operators who are currently logged in. To add a new one, click the add operator button and select them from the pop-up window. And that's how we can manage manufacturing orders in the shop floor module. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more order tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.